This beer tastes like donkey piss. Not that I'm complaining. Is this the place for the Legacy Council job? Hope I'm not too late. Ran into a bit of trouble on the way here. Take a load off. There's plenty of donkey piss to go around. If you're here for the council job, get in line. Though if this Lord Caron doesn't show up soon, I may go looking for him. Another round, barkeeper. Four of your finest flagons of donkey piss, please. Looks like you've been waiting here a while. We do what we have to. So what's this trouble you were telling us about? Well, I was making my way here when three bandits leapt from the bushes with crossbows. They dragged me off to some decrepit prison and tossed me in a filthy cell that smelled of rat piss. Don't know what was holding the place up. Light will guide us. Nice move, that trick with the wall. Glad you're no worse for wear. 
this council needs to get organised. They have no right to keep us waiting like this. Have another ale. It's not like you have anywhere better to be. I have a tale to tell as well. I too was attacked, but I put an end to my enemies with blood and pain. Let's hear it then. Don't be shy. You'll die like the rest. What a bunch of namby pambies. You're lucky you weren't attacked by Sorax. Shut your gob or I'll shut it for you. The Badlands are thick with them, shape-shifting bastards. Go easy on him. He's just a harmless old drunk. Probably saw lizard folk or dragonborn or something. You think I don't know the difference? All those spines on their backs, those jaws. You've never seen anything like it. Not lizard folk. Not troglodyte, not dragonborn, I'm telling you. No one believes in Sorax anymore. Except the Church of Einar, of course. There's a Sorak under every bed, if you believe them. Easy now. Don't mock people for their faith. Read them books. Soraks are masters of deception, infiltration. Anyone here could be a Sorak. You'd never know. Go, oh, come on. Ha, <laughs> you'll see. So, anyway, Sorax might be legend, but orcs are quite real, and not just in the Badlands. I stumbled across a secret settlement right here in the Principality. Bullshit. High in the hills, two days west of here. I left the main road to find a shorter way through, and I was making good time when I dropped through a sodding sinkhole into a cave. Oh! I must have fallen on my wrong side. We bring light in darkness. Clearly, I'm being punished for leaving the road, now to seek redemption.
There they are. If they see me, I'm dead. It looks like this is the only way out. I just need to be patient. They can't stay there forever. Not sure I would have slept so close to a horde of orcs. Orcs have a very distinctive stink. We should build a council for all this wasted time. We've all told a tale of our travels here. All but one of us. Yes, but I have a good reason for that. It's none of your bloody business. 
come on now, don't be a killjoy. We all sang for our supper. Your turn. Fine. You want to know the truth? I stopped on the way here to visit an old friend of mine and discovered he was up to his eyeballs in debt with a loan shark. Oh, that's not good. Indeed. He put up a family heirloom as collateral and wanted me to reacquire it. Because, you see, I can be quite stealthy when necessary. Oh, Liam. Always thoughtful. There you are, you filthy crook! You? What? You're drunk. Get out of here before I kill you. Think you scare me? Not anymore. A grave mistake. Liam, what are you doing here? I told you I'd take care of it. Oh, 
I will kill you. Are you four here to see Lord Karen? Depends on who's asking. Well, if you're here for Lord Karen of the Legacy Council, that would be me. Fine. I'd like to present you with a bill for the time we just spent cooling our heels. Feel free. The Council's bursary enjoys a good laugh. Can you tell us more about the job? Well, I suppose it's better if you know what you're doing. What do you want to know? Are we going to work for you? Not exactly, no. I'll be your contact with the Legacy Council, which you will serve as deputies. That's why we need to go there and get you sworn in. What can you tell us about this place, the Principality? We don't exactly have the time. Anyway, the Principality of Mazgarth is ruled by Princess Kaiwood Silverflower. We are a wealthy state with fertile lands and the easiest access to the Badlands through a pass called the Copperhead Road. We're in the capital, Ker Kiflum, which was once part of the ancient Manikalan Empire of the High Elves. Hence the magnificent elvish buildings up there in the High Town. While we don't have a state religion, all of the major faiths of Selasta are represented here. Though we tend to favor Einar, the god of valor and fidelity. We hear this is a mission for the Council, but what is it exactly? Dear Moraike, you don't know? I'll try to make it simple, but you know, politics? The Council includes representatives of the most powerful and influential organizations in the Eastern Kingdoms. It was created to lead a joint effort to explore the Badlands. What are the Badlands, really? Simply put, they are a monster-ridden, chaotic wasteland that used to be the elven empire called Manikalan. It was destroyed about a thousand years ago by the Great Cataclysm. Now, only ruins remain, full of forgotten knowledge, riches and dangers. What are the organizations you mentioned? The Council is, uh, how to put it, a non-governmental organization, meaning that state governments are not represented to avoid partisanship. Instead, there are delegates from the Guild of Antiquarians, the Tower of Knowledge, the Arcaneum, and the Circle of Denantar. And the Church of Einar guarantees fairness, led by Marshal Beric Sunblaze and Oathkeeper Lyra Keen. Which countries make up these Eastern Kingdoms? Simple. The Principality of Mazgarth, here, is in the middle. The Snow Alliance lies to the north, the Kingdom of Galavan to the east, and the New Empire to the south. All friendly, more or less, but the peace is fragile. I think we know enough now. Thank you. We should go, don't you think? Very well. Come, gather your things. You're late for your swearing in. Hurry up and wait. The story of my life. after you're swearing in.
This place is magnificent. I'm busy. Come back later. The bridge is closed for now. Stay in the light, citizens. Clear skies, adventurers. I am Chaplain Dallin Lark. Hello. What do you do here? I represent the Church of Einar, the god of valor and fidelity. We provide various services for those who need them. And can pay for them. Those who seek his healing are rarely poor. We do require your services.
Nice gardens. I never thought I'd get so close to the embassies. Look at the size of this council hall. So this is what they spend our taxes on. Look, is that the princess? Wait, is she leaving? Apparently so. Then who will administer the oath? The maid who empties her chamber pot? No, we're not as important as that. Perhaps a stable boy. You thought it would be the princess? Doesn't she lead the council? No. In this chamber, she's just another delegate. Lady Keen, the council's oath keeper, is trusted by all. Lord Caron. Yes, my lady. Are these your new deputies? They are, my lady. My name is Lyra Keen. Oath Keeper of the Council. Pipe down! And I will be administering your vows. Once sworn in, you will carry the authority of the Council wherever you go. Your every action will reflect upon the Council's reputation. Remember that. Always. Now, please, raise your right hands. Do you, each and all, solemnly swear your lives and allegiance to this Council and promise to carry forth our mission to protect our alliance from any who would threaten the common good. I swear. I swear. Excellent. Lord Caron will enter your name into the Council's register. Thank you for your service. Congratulations, deputies. Wait, that's it? Stop wasting time. What's the mission? Well, a motivated deputy. So, the mission. As I'm sure you know, the Council maintains a number of outposts to secure the border between the Principality and the Marches. One of them is the former Imperial Fortress, KLM. It's held by some 50 troops under the command of Captain Henrik. He sends us weekly status reports, or rather, he used to. We haven't heard a word from him in three weeks. Leave immediately for KLM and find out if anyone there is still alive. If Captain Henrik or anyone else is still breathing, bring him back. The Council wants a first-hand report. What can you tell us about this Captain Henrik? A fine officer, more than 15 years in the Principality's army. He inspires trust, loyalty and courage. Hence the decision to post him there, facing danger. Wait, these marches, they're not in the Badlands, are they? The marches are a no-man's land, between the civilized world and the Badlands. It's outside the chain of mountains that really define the Badlands. We wouldn't send you in there, yet. Right, I guess that's that. It's on to KLM. There's life yet, adventurers. Araki smile on you. Lady of life, a follower of the goddess. We do require your services.
Hello, adventurers. What can I offer you? Tell us about your tavern. The inn? Well, it's not that old, but somehow it feels like it's been here forever. Well, you can meet all kinds of people here, that's the good thing. An old scavenger, a diplomat from the council, a knight, a lord, a beggar. We also have rooms to rent by the night. Why the name Gravekeep's Cask? Well, it's very old from Imperial times. Perhaps a historian would know, but I don't. Your beer is terrible, and that's being polite about it. What? What? I've never had any complaints about the beer before. Maybe your palate is not refined enough. We'd like to stay for the night. Sure. Just walk up to the suite and settle in. A suite? Oh, uh, it's more like a large bedroom, really. But you know, this is the capital city. <laughs> 